As you know, Amy's always the most beautiful girl in any room. So much so that whenever Amy and I ever went out clubbing, we never have to wait in lines because according to Amy, only time wasters wait in lines. <laughs> We'd also never have to buy alcohol because there'd always be a long line of eligible bachelors who wanted to buy Amy drinks. But the game was forever changed when along came Mr. Matt Hendel. Matt was no stranger to me at the time because we had mutual friends. But to Amy, he was a nobody. <laughs> that is until one night at Auckland's most renowned establishment, Tyler Street Garage. Their eyes met in the middle of the dance floor as Justin Bieber's As Long As You Love Me blasted through the speakers. Justin Bieber's music and lyrics were so powerful that they couldn't help but cheer an intimate dance and a cheeky little pash. A few weeks later, Matt and Amy went in their very first date. Thanks, Justin Bieber. Being the girl boss that Amy is, she's focused, strong, resilient, and tends to be a rock for not only me, many other people. But rocks can be hard and cold. And although Amy from the outside has a tough exterior, on the inside she's a big softy. She's kind, patient, and really gives her time and energy for those that really need it. I feel incredibly lucky to have Amy in my life, but I'm even happier that she found someone as great as Matt. As a parent, it's been a neat ride watching our son grow and mature, especially the last eight years. And, um, you know, he's, a few rough edges have been taken off, and I, I'm sure, sure that uh, Amy's had a little bit to do with that, just a little bit. Amy, life changed for us eight or so years ago. We were introduced to my son's gorgeous young sidekick. I've got to say, you look bloody gorgeous today, and you scrubbed out really well. My son wasn't too bad, but you, know, you stole the show. I'm so proud that you reach all your goals that you set, and you're not afraid to go after what you want in life. That is truly a gift. Matt, we just love you. We just love having you in our family, and the two of you are just amazing together. Amy, you're my best friend, my biggest supporter, always watching me on the sideline, and the love of my life. Because of you, I laugh, I smile, and push myself to be the best person that I can be. I love how incredibly kind and caring you are behind that thick skin of yours. I don't think anyone could be as competitive and stubborn as me. Happy to say I've met my match. I truly look forward to spending the rest of my life with you. I vow to be there through the good times and the not so good times and to be the person you look to for help. I will always be there and encourage you to chase your dreams and support you through our journey together. I promise to never stop challenging you and forcing an apology out of you, especially when you know I'm right. I promise to laugh with you, cry with you, and make you smile every day. But most of all, I promise to love you for the rest of my life. Matt, from the moment our paths crossed, you've surprised me, distracted me, captivated me and challenged me in a way that no other has. You're kind and loyal and I've fallen in love with you over and over again. I can't believe today I get to marry my best friend. I promise to pay attention to you when you tell me about all your gaming wins. <laughs> and of course the losses when someone gets your team killed. <laughs> I promise to laugh at all your friends show references and attempt to smile while I'm complaining about the hordes of empty beer cans located in all places around the house. No matter what trials we encounter together or how much time has passed, I know our love will never fade. That we will find strength in each other and we will continue to grow side by side. I choose you again and again at the start and end of each day, no matter the season, no matter the year. I choose you to be always by my side. It is therefore with great pleasure that I now pronounce you husband and wife, Matt, you may now kiss your beautiful bride. All right, so let me give you a quick backstory about how Matt and I became friends. This love story began back in 1995. It was Cockle Bay Primary. We had just finished swimming in the school pool. While we are heading back to class, I noted this dorky kid in front of me with his tie towered around his neck, thinking he was Superman. As we walked into the classroom, somehow, my foot managed to find its way firmly onto the back of his towel, causing him to fall and crack his head open on the steel rubbish bin. 
Now, for some unknown reason, the teacher had decided I'd done this on purpose and I was some psychotic five-year-old. <laughs> for those of you who do know me, you'll agree this is entirely untrue. The following Sunday at Western Springs Speedway, I remember a young Matt tapping who I believed to be John on the shoulder. However, this guy had a lot more hair, so I can't be sure. Uh, Matt was pointing over at my dad and me, and I remember telling dad what had happened uh, earlier in the week, and rightfully so, he told me I had to apologise. So, I plucked up the courage and went over. We ended up sitting down with John and Matt for the rest of the evening. This was the start of an unbreakable bond. A bond that would raise a few eyebrows amongst our parents in later years. As Amy grew up and became the strong woman she is today, we quickly learnt that you don't tease Amy unless you're looking for a war. So we uh, diverted our attention to our younger sister Laura, who's, uh, <laughs> who's now emotionally scarred. I remember, uh, seems like forever ago now, I told one of my classic bait lines to Amy, and usually that would be all go for World War Three, but she uh, rolled her eyes back, as I'm sure everyone's witnessed now, and just grinned through her teeth and smiled, and I said, oh, something's on here. This isn't normal. And uh, sure enough, Matt popped on the scene not long after. And it's uh, really nice to see the calming effect that he's had on her. <laughs> Matt, uh, we couldn't be happier to have you as part of the family. You're exactly what we would hope for Amy as a partner. Um, and I can play in complete confidence our father would be absolutely thrilled to have you as a son-in-law. <laughs> <laughs>